There seems to be a scrap of paper caught between these two drawers. The others are empty. It appears that someone tried to straighten up in a hurry. Let me see that paper. Here it is. What? What is this? It looks like Chinese or something. Metal translated. Okay. Let's see. Patient record. First examination. I'm not familiar with the next five characters. It's the first time I've ever seen any of them. I thought you were supposed to be really good at Chinese. My strongest areas are in chop suey, egg foo young, and wontons. Hmm, rare Chinese characters. Or maybe some kind of code? At any rate, this is definitely part of someone's chart. If we can figure out these characters, we may be able to uncover another snatcher. What do you suppose happened to the other records? Looks like someone cleaned them out of here. Uh, maybe they knew we were coming. Somehow I get the feeling that the Snatchers know what we're up to. I'll store the fragment of the file.
The number you have reached is not in service at this time. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. JT&T Neo Kobe.
a seat, Gillian. We're safer in a crowded place like this. Jeez, you really had me fooled. Two rolls in one. And... <laughs> Gesundheit. Well, you know, you gotta understand. Being an informer isn't exactly the safest job on the planet, you know. That's why it's important to be a master of disguise, like me. Yeah, but I feel pretty stupid. I mean, all that time I was asking you about where Jean went, I didn't realize I was asking someone who actually worked there. Hey, I was just as surprised as you were. But I didn't know that Gibson had been here. You see, I wasn't working that day. Anyhow, it's not masquerade night today. Uh, why don't you take that mask off, Napoleon? It's a little unnerving sitting here talking to a wolf. Uh, all right. I suppose there's no harm there. Boy, ugh, you really work up a sweat in these full-face masks. Oh, boy, uh, maybe you should have left that on. What? Ah, uh, uh, still, you did a nice job of figuring out who I was. Come on, Napoleon. That stupid phone recording with the Wolfman? JT&T would never do anything that tasteless. Besides, what really tipped me off was that constant sneezing of yours. Sneezes, eh? Well, listen, you want me to tell you why I'm called Napoleon? Because winter gets the best of you. Napoleon Bonaparte sent his enormous army into Russia in 1812, but suffered a major defeat because of the snow. Oh, I get it. Yeah, this sneezing isn't a cold. It's my allergy to snow nine pollen. So, anyhow, what did you want to know? I've got a couple of questions to ask you. Eh, fire away.
so that's it. Benson. Beryllium is B-E. Nitrogen is N. Sulfur is S. And oxygen is O. And another N makes Benson. The name Benson was encoded on this file. Benson. I sure hope it is not referring to the chief, Benson Cunningham. Or to our friendly engineer, Mr. Harry Benson. No, that couldn't be. No way! But the possibility, though remote, does exist. Metal, I want you to cut off all your data transmissions to headquarters now. Understood. Now disabling automatic transmission routines. Done. No further data transmissions to headquarters will be executed. My God. A snatcher in Junker headquarters? We've got to get there quick. Let's go, Metal. See you later, Junker. Today's little information tidbit is on me. Now take care, Gillian. Don't get yourself taken out by some snatcher. I think I'll lay low for a while. You know, after all, you are my main source of income. You be careful too, Napoleon. You get killed and you won't be able to sneeze anymore. What's that supposed to mean? See you, Napoleon. Metal, let's go.
Gillian, it's me, Jamie. Listen carefully. You know that Queen's Hospital? I found out that they undertook a major expansion project in 2035 to put in a basement. That's right, they have a basement. Basement construction is really unusual here in Neo Kobe. That's why there were still records of it. But there's more. The director of that hospital, Chin Shu Ho, has had his license suspended in the past for performing eugenics experiments at an illicit underground facility. Are you telling me Queens has underground treatment facilities? That has to be it, Gillian. Chin Chu Ho is performing skin operations on Snatchers underground. And that means that Chin himself is also probably a Snatcher. Or rather, the real Chin, the original Chin, was snatched. So, that entire ground level complex is just a front for the underground facilities. And if we hit that hospital, we can ruin the Snatchers' plans. Well, this is it, Metal. We're heading right into the enemy's headquarters this time. Gillian? Yeah? This sounds really dangerous. I just wanted you to know... I want you to come home safe. Jamie... The reason I left you is because I thought you were pushing yourself too hard, being self-destructive, and it seemed like the wedding ring you were wearing when they found us had become a tremendous burden on you. I didn't want that to be the only reason we stayed together. Oh, Jamie, I never felt that way at all. I'll be waiting for you. We may not have our memories, but you are the only one I've ever shared any time with. Be careful, Gillian. Jamie. Are you all right, Gillian? Yeah. All right, Metal, let's go. We have to pay a visit to Queen's Hospital. Her Majesty is waiting. Where do you think you're going? This is most unusual. The turbo cycle seems to be out of control. Switch over to manual. I'll take over. Understood. I've switched to manual control. Well, how is it? What the? We've got no brakes! Metal, check the brake system out. Pronto! Gillian, looks like sabotage. No doubt the Snatcher's handiwork. Sabotage? 
but the only one who could work on the turbo cycle. Worry about that later. Gillian, we've got to do something quickly. What can we do? Metal, start punching buttons. Any buttons at all? Yes, yes, push anything. Gillian, this doesn't seem to be doing any good. Damn, I was sure that would work. Gillian, the road makes a sharp right turn just 1,500 meters ahead. At this speed, we'll never make it. Gillian, Gillian! Hey, Gillian! Huh? Over here! What's that? Gillian, over here! Random! Gillian, you gotta jump over to my bike! Hurry! 800 meters until we reach the curve. Metal, you go first! What? Not again! Move your butt! That curve's just ahead! Understood. One, two, three! <laughs> All right, Gillian, now it's your turn. Keep her steady. 300 meters until you reach the curve. Gillian, jump! I can't! My timing's off, I... 150 meters! Gillian, now! 70 meters! Now, Gillian, now! Oh, we're too late! <laughs> Gillian! I, I guess he didn't make it. Don't bury me so fast, I'm right here! Don't you even know how to ride a motorcycle? Gillian, it's not much farther to Queen's Hospital, and you could probably use the exercise anyway. Why don't we just continue the rest of the way like this? We've arrived 
to Queen's Hospital. So, this is the place, huh? Random, are you sure you know what you're doing? This isn't going to be a field trip, you know. We may not come back. Well, the bounty for this one will more than make up for it. If you're around to spend it, that is. Gillian, let's get going. leads down to a lower level. It looks like Jamie was right. Queen's Hospital does have a basement. And that basement is the Snatcher's main lair. Out of the frying pan and into the fire, as they say. Well, what do we do now, Gillian? stairway. We'll have to go down single file. Okay, uh, who's going to take the point? That's obvious. The guy with the light. Hey, that's not fair. <laughs> Whoa. 
Well, well, what do we have here? It's the hospital corridor. It's the same hallway, but not the one that's on the first floor. So what does that mean? An entire floor of Queen's Hospital has been duplicated underground. So the same floor is both upstairs and downstairs, sort of like parallel worlds. So that desolate setup upstairs is all just a smokescreen. They're making it look like the place is closed down, but in reality, they're keeping themselves quite busy. Gillian, that means we're already right in the middle of their headquarters. Please use extreme caution.
maintenance have been terminated. There's no doubt now that this is their maintenance facility. This one was probably still waiting to get its artificial skin installed. So this is what they really look like, huh? Yeah, that's the scariest thing about them. You can't tell them from real people once they've got that skin on. Perhaps that's humanity's great weakness. We're always judging books by their cover. And it's just that human weakness that they're out to take advantage of. All right, Random. Metal, let's go. The HQ's junk squad can take care of him later. We've got an investigation to do.
pushing both buttons simultaneously. The two buttons are on opposite panels, so there's no way one person can push them both alone. But if two of us work together, it might do it. That's it, Gillian. It makes perfect sense. It's the same system they used to use in nuclear missile silos in the late 20th century. Eliminates the risk of one man going nuts and acting alone. Well, it's hard to be sure, but let's give it a try anyway. I've got button one. Random, you push number two. You ready? On three. One, two, three. Come on! You did it! Door number three opened. With safety measures like that, they must have had a good reason for wanting to keep it closed. skeletons in this room. It's... it's their morgue! Perhaps victims of the Snatchers? Well, it doesn't look like whoever put them here was too worried about making sure they would rest in peace. No, it doesn't. These have got to be their victims. This is probably where they hide the bodies of the originals they snatch from places like Outer Heaven. They probably picked Outer Heaven because it gets a lot of VIP traffic. Plus, during masquerade time, they could work the place and still keep their identity secret. Yeah, and the guy who set up the link between them and Outer Heaven was Freddy, that taxi driver. They must have gone after him, not because of who he was, but what he did. After all, with a taxi, there's plenty of chances to milk your customers for information. That's probably how they learned about Outer Heaven and Plato's Cavern. I've been wondering what they had done with the bodies. Want to hide a book? What better place than the library? Need to hide a body? How about the morgue? And for them, keeping the bodies hidden is crucial. I mean, if somebody who's supposed to be dead is out walking the streets, it wouldn't be too hard to figure out that something screwy is going on. That means that if we can figure out who these bodies were, then we just nailed four snatchers.
Now performing simulated reconstruction of the head and facial features of each of the four victims. Commencing with victim number one. Now performing craniometric analysis. X-ray and sagittal X-ray, magnetic resonance imaging, and positron CT data gathered. Complete cranial data now being compiled. Craniometric analysis complete. Now commencing reconstruction. First, victim's age. Estimate based on one, presence or absence of cranial fontanelles and chroma of epicranial sutures. Two, area of facial region and cranium. Three, height of upper and lower jaw and development of alveolar part. And four, location of cranial center of gravity. Next, victim sex. Estimate based on one, overall size of cranium. Two, parietal bone angle. And three, development of splachnocranium. Lastly, victim's race. Estimate based on one, overall cranial configuration. Two, volume of intracranial cavity. And three, mass of the skull. Now commencing soft feature reconstruction based on average results of above analysis. Reconstructing. Initial phase completed. Margin of error on estimate of victim's race 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Reconstruction of head of first victim completed. It's Freddy Nielsen. Moving on to second victim. Now commencing reconstruction of features of victim number two. Now starting craniometric analysis. Complete cranial data now being compiled using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Craniometric analysis complete. Now commencing reconstruction using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Reconstructing. Initial phase completed. Margin of error on estimate of victim's race 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Reconstruction of head of second victim completed. That's Lisa Nielsen. Moving on to third victim. Now commencing reconstruction of features of victim number three. Now starting craniometric analysis. Complete cranial data now being compiled using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Craniometric analysis complete. Now commencing reconstruction using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Reconstructing. Initial phase completed. Margin of error on estimate of victim's race 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Reconstruction of head of third victim completed. Who in the world is that? That's the director of Queen's Hospital, uh, Shin Fui, uh, what's his face, uh... Shin Shu O Gilliam. Moving on to last victim. Now commencing reconstruction of features of victim number four. This one's the most recent. It's still decomposing. Now starting craniometric analysis. Complete cranial data now being compiled using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Craniometric analysis complete. Now commencing reconstruction using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Reconstructing. Initial phase completed. Margin of error on estimate of victim's race 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Reconstruction of head of final victim completed. It's... it's the Chief! What? The Chief is a snatcher! The Benson on the scrap of that patient record was Benson Cunningham! Judging from the condition of the body, I would estimate that the snatching took place approximately one month ago. So it was the Chief who sabotaged our turbo cycle. In those matches we found in Harry's room, the Chief must have put them there to try to set him up. No doubt Harry figured it out and decided to leave that face-to-face -face message. Wait a minute. Didn't Mika say that Harry had left to go find the Chief? That's right. He was probably trying to track down some evidence on the Chief. Gillian, I'd say that this Harry has put himself in a pretty dangerous spot. If it was the Chief that sabotaged the turbo cycle, doesn't that mean that he already knows we're onto him? are in danger! That's far enough, Junker. Your little investigation is over. It's them! Who? Snatchers? Get them!
can't reach my blaster. Uh, I'm hitting the leg. Is that the best you can do, Junker? Who's who's there? Jin. Jin Shu Oh, you scum. It seems you still have some fight left in you. You two are finished, but our plans move forward. We are now entering phase two. And when we do, not only this city, but the entire world will be ours to command. Phase two? What are you talking about? As you know, our operations have been hindered up to now by the flaws in our artificial skin. The skin's shortcomings have kept us away from ultraviolet rays, forcing us to do our work at night, underground, or in the winter. In the end, we had to construct a hospital like this, all because of the flaws in our artificial skin. This was the only difference between us and you humans. But now we have broken this barrier. Huh? We are on the verge of developing a perfect artificial skin, thanks to the cooperation of a new partner in our plan. Perfect artificial skin? Uh, a new partner? Once we have the new skin, nothing will be able to stop us. And with that, our plan moves to phase two. Our little experiment in this city will end. And we'll move in force to take over the world. Don't be so sure. You won't get out of the city that easy. <laughs> you humans are always so overconfident, so naive. What are you talking about? I'm sure you're aware that the Kyoto Summit, being held to decide how to handle this natural problem, opens tomorrow. Metal, is that right? Yes. Countries around the world are concerned about the Snatcher problem. It will be one of the main topics discussed at this year's summit. That's right. Tomorrow, we attack the summit. <laughs> you must be crazy. The security there will be incredible. You won't even get close. Must I explain everything to you, Junker? Aren't you even aware that a fellow Junker will be giving a special presentation at the summit? The Chief! Cunningham! So that's why you snatched him. We've known that your Chief would be speaking at the summit for over three months now. Gillian, the summit is tomorrow. We have to hurry. Listen, we have your Chief. You Junkers are at our mercy, and so is this city. And tomorrow, we move on the world! <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. We will finally achieve our long-awaited goal of global domination. <laughs> Who is this we you keep talking about? We? We are an evolved life form. Given life in the depths of the Kremlin by our creator, Modnar. We are a new race. Modnar? Modnar? The Kremlin, those names are familiar, but... Our goal is to snatch all of the world's leaders and then achieve total control of human thought and worldwide racial unification. You're insane. Humanity won't be so easily dominated. You underestimate the strength of the human spirit. I think not. In the same way as the Nazis, our strategy begins with the overpowering of the spirit of the people. We will strike at you humans' weakest point, the most primitive part of your psychological makeup, your suspiciousness and fear. By provoking suspicion and mistrust throughout the populace, we will destroy that fragile fabric which holds your society together, that of trust. Fear is you humans' weak point. It is the primitive part of your brains that binds you forever to your animal ancestors and makes you vulnerable. By stimulating that part of your atavistic instincts, our plan can succeed magnificently. Gillian, at this rate they'll kill us all. You've got to get out alive. You're a junker. 
Just one of you have in mind. I've got a big fireworks show ready for him. Better that than get snatched. What? You're gonna blow yourself up? No, we're better off fighting together. Hey, it won't work. I'm hit in the thigh. Ow, oh, damn. A bounty hunter can't do anything with a leg wound like this. I might as well have been shot in the head. There must be some way out of here. Hey, I wasn't doing this job just for fun. I stayed ready for situations like this. I've always been prepared to go out with a bang. It's December. A little late for fireworks. So it'll be an off-season show. No, I can't let you. My belt's packed with TNTPX. You know, that really strong stuff they use in the mines on Mars. One push, and this whole hospital will go. No trouble at all. No time to sit around thinking, Junker Boy. Go! What are you doing? Get your butt moving, you fool! Get out through this air shaft. I've got a powerful strobe on me. Its flash will screw up their sensors long enough for you to get out. Now, you with me? Fireworks are better from a distance anyway, Gillian. Are you two finished chatting? Then I think it's time for you to die. We're quite busy, you know. You ready? When I give the signal, break into the air shaft and run, and don't forget your blaster. Metal, stay with me. Yes, sir. R Random. Gillian. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have a chance to call in that debt you owe me. Don't worry. I'll pay it back to the Snatchers with interest. All right, go! Run, Gillian! must have shielded us from enough of the blast. If it wasn't for Random, we wouldn't have made it. Oh, Random. Gillian, we have no time for grief now. We must get back to Junker Headquarters as quickly as possible. Harry and Mika are in danger. You're right. And I have to keep my promise to Random. But first, we have to figure out how to get out of here. I can't see a thing. What should we do?
liner, the city's long abandoned subway system. You mean Queen's Hospital and this were connected? Yes, it would appear that the Snatchers were using this to move from place to place. This would provide them with the perfect way to move about while still avoiding the ultraviolet rays they hate so much. We should have realized this sooner. The city is crisscrossed by the tube liner's old lines, and since they are abandoned, the Snatchers could move undetected as well. Aha! Uh -huh. That's how those two we caught a glimpse of at the abandoned factory where Gibson was killed were able to disappear so quickly. They must have used this subway. That would appear to be correct. The tube liner passes underneath that factory site as well. That would also explain why sand from the factory was in the air duct at the hospital. So this is the trick they were using to stay out of the sun and avoid being seen while they moved around. Now we know why it took so long to uncover them. Alright, let's follow the subway. We should be able to get out when we get to the nearest station. Look! Metal! Light! Yes, but this doesn't look like a station. There's a ladder! Where do you suppose it leads, Gillian? I don't have the slightest, but let's climb it and see. Alright, now climbing the ladder. We seem to have emerged into an odd place. Wait! This room! It's Freddie Nielsen's bathroom! He was using this shaft from the bathtub to get down into the subway. So that's how he did that. Ah, uh, yes. As I recall, after you disposed of Lisa, he somehow entered the apartment without using the regular entrance. Which he accomplished by using this secret passage into his bathtub. The bathtub must be of a double construction. The bottom is actually a lid. When they wanted to hide the passage, all they needed to do was fill the tub. And to get in and out, they would just drain the water into another tank. Jeez. Double bottom bathtubs? Abandoned subways? Snatchers really go out of their way to stay out of the sun. Okay, Gillian. Let's head outside. <laughs> 